The Kraken is a colossal squid, a legendary sea monster, the biggest hunk of calamari you ever saw. And if this monster had existed, the world would have changed beyond recognition. The Kraken has powerful tentacles, solid muscles with suckers at the end. They're just impossible to escape. The Kraken can break a ship in half or just pull it down into the depths. But the worst thing about the Kraken is its size. According to old sailor stories, the Kraken reached 5,000 feet in length. That's almost 10 soccer fields. Hey, maybe the Kraken could play soccer. The Kraken legend said the monster was so giant that sailors mistook it for a small island. In past centuries, it would have been impossible to defeat such a beast. If the Kraken existed in reality, it might have had offspring. Yeah, in all the world's oceans, there would be giant monsters that could sink any ship. It's unlikely that the Kraken would have competitors in its habitat, so its population would grow strongly. Since the Kraken is enormous, it would need lots of food, so the population of other large sea animals would fall significantly. Blue whales, great white sharks, other giant squids, all the big sea creatures would be endangered. Many people are starving because of the reduction of large fish in the ocean. Urban economies that rely on fishing will be in decline. Prices for small fish around the world are getting more expensive because it's unsafe to fish. To defeat the kraken, you need powerful weapons, but the monster is tough to catch. The kraken belongs to the cephalopod genus. This species includes squid and octopus, some of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. The kraken is a skilled hunter and will never fight in the open. So what can you do? You can't track the kraken because it approaches from the depths, not the surface. Though you may be able to tell that the monster is somewhere nearby if a lot of fish surface. When the kraken swims, it scares all the fish in the vicinity. But it might already be too late. A huge tentacle emerges from the water, resembling a high tower. This tower falls on the deck of the ship, shattering it. The sailors scream and run. The kraken lands a second blow, and the vessel is almost capsized. Next, the kraken wraps its giant tentacles around the ship and pulls it to the bottom. Oh boy! What if the sailors manage to detach the ship from the tentacles of this monster? With the help of powerful weapons, the ship's crew strikes back. The kraken retreats under the water. It's hurt, angry. It seems the battle is over, but here comes the worst. A whirlpool forms beside the ship. Thanks to its considerable weight, when the kraken dives, it creates a whirlpool behind it. Like a drain in a giant bathtub, this whirlpool sucks the ship down. The battle with the kraken is lost. Well, that was unfortunate. You might be able to defeat the monster if you can anticipate its attack in advance. But the kraken can see you and your ship before you can see it. Colossal squids live in deep waters, and they have the largest eyes among all animals. The squid's eye is the size of a dinner plate. Thanks to this, they can see their prey from far away. Similarly, a kraken would spot the ship much sooner than sonar could pick up the kraken. It would always have the drop on you. Well, that's not good. Around the world, cargo transportation by ship is declining. Airlines provide the only safe connection between the continents. This will increase air pollution. The most successful enemy of the Kraken is submarines. They travel at great depths and are equipped with powerful echolocators to help detect the Kraken in advance. Subs are well-armed, too, and the round metal body is not so easy to destroy. A single Kraken may be defeated by a submarine, but what if there are several sea monsters? Three kraken can wrap their tentacles around the submarine and drag it deeper into the water where the pressure will destroy their enemy. In other words, they'll have a crush on you. The existence of the kraken will have dramatically changed the development of many countries. What if Christopher Columbus, on his famous journey, noticed an island that he thought was the New World? He approaches it, but tentacles emerge from the island and sink Columbus's ship. The colonization of North America is delayed, maybe until airplanes are invented. And the first crewed flight wasn't until the 20th century. There would be no Hollywood. There would be no hamburgers, no famous American music playing. There wouldn't be YouTube, which means you wouldn't be watching this video right now. Hmm. 
Worst of all, the internet wouldn't exist either. And all this because of one stupid monster squid. The Vikings wouldn't sail on their long ships to raid and settle foreign territories. The history of Norway, Sweden, Finland, and other Nordic countries would have changed drastically. Hey, maybe the Titanic wouldn't have hit an iceberg, but a giant sea monster instead. Though, it's unlikely that people would take trips on huge ocean liners in a world where the Kraken exists. Maybe though, the Kraken isn't all that aggressive. Still, they need a lot of food, and because of the growing population of these monsters, there will be much less food in the ocean. Therefore, the Kraken will increasingly come to the surface for hunting. In the future, the Kraken will migrate closer to the shore. In many countries, people then are not allowed to swim in the ocean. Imagine floating on the waves and a monster the size of a skyscraper is swimming right below you. Relaxing at sea and on the beach will no longer be popular. Many countries that live off tourism become impoverished. When the krakens grow hungrier, they try to capture prey from land. A huge squid could attack small port cities. Houses, docks, streets, everything can be crushed. A tremendous amount of plastic is thrown into the ocean near the coasts of large countries. Billions of tons of plastic will bother the kraken. An angry, hungry monster can attack bridges like the Golden Gate Bridge. Imagine that a huge squid surrounds the bridge and blocks all traffic. Some of these squids could break the strong cables with their power, and the entire structure would collapse into the water. Ooh! It's good that the kraken doesn't really exist to swim in our seas and oceans. At least, as far as we know. But could the monster have actually existed? Legends stretch back years, but scientific evidence appeared in the middle of the 19th century. In 1857, a 3-inch diameter squid bee was discovered on the coast of Denmark. Other huge squid remains were found in the Bahamas, and then scientists were convinced that gigantic squids existed. While colossal squid has been officially discovered since then, it's been more than 100 years, and we still don't know what max size they can grow to. The fact is, colossal squids are one of the most elusive creatures on Earth. They live in the depths of the ocean where it's challenging for scientists to reach. Any dive to a greater depth requires powerful, bulky equipment. Underwater bath escapes and cameras make a lot of noise and light, which squids notice from afar. They flee before we can see them. The legend of the kraken probably appeared because of a real colossal squid. People in the past didn't know about these creatures' existence, so when they saw one for the first time, they described it as a massive, terrible monster. It's difficult to say if these huge squids were the size of a small island, because the truth is, we've only studied about 5% of the ocean. It may be that in its depths, monsters much more terrible than the kraken swim. Like my nephew, Peter. Peter.